Greetings everyone. Today is January 29th, 2020. And I wasn't going to film this unboxing, but I got a free gift in this. So I'm very happy about that. All right. So this is a uh, order I placed with California Carnivores. I've been doing business with them for mm, decades now. And uh, they sent me a sticker with a Darlingtonia. That is really cool, Cobra Lily. And uh, then I got a uh, little business card with uh, how to take care of your plants. And what I ordered was a bromeliad called Brachina Reducta. Let me get it out and show you guys. <laughs> it is so well packaged. Free cup. These are always good to have around. Wow, it's already... I thought it was going to be bare root. That's good. Huh, there's a bug inside. Looks like an ant. Um, so, actually, there's a lot of ants. Hmm, they're not ants. They're like some kind of winged insect. Oh, well, I'll probably open this uh, outside then. Um, but what's special about this plant is that this is one of three carnivorous bromeliads in the world. This comes from South America, so here's hoping I can take care of this guy. I'm glad that it's already potted. I don't have to mix up a uh, potting formula for it like I thought I would. So yes, very cool, very exciting. And I can't believe this! They sent me, looks like, I think these are Saracenias. And it looks like there's four of them. There's the big one. I know that one looks kind of dead, but I see some some growth. It's in, these guys are dormant. Oh, there's the, the growth point. And this one's got a growth coming up this way. So, yeah, these guys are probably just, um, well, they're still dormant. They're slowly going to come out. And it's still winter down here, too. So um, I will pot these up and uh, put them out in the sun later on. I wonder what they are. They're probably just offsets. They probably don't know what it is either. It would be wonderful if by chance one of these was a Godzuki because all my Saracenias have done great except for that one. It just rotted out and the whole thing died. I don't know why and I loved that plant. It was so unique looking but anyways whatever they are it's just always good to get extra plants unexpectedly so Thank you very much. So here is the plant all potted up. I've got it in a mix of perlite, sphagnum, and peat. And then on top I just did a light top dressing of pebbles. That way the uh, perlite wouldn't float to the surface so quickly. And uh, these guys require full sun, but because it's winter right now I can't put it outside. It's too cold. And hopefully it'll be okay under the spotlight of my grow light here. It's so tiny, but it has the potential to get really big, so very excited about this. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that. Des, signing off.